Okay, I was just watching, I think her name is Lily Nova. <clears throat> She's gotten in contact with extraterrestrials. Uh, if it requires meditating, I don't think I'm going to make it. Now, playing some good music, I could do that probably. So, maybe I should drag a piano out here on the runway and start playing. She said that attracts them. I've, I've heard that they like our instrumental music. They don't care for the music with words, probably because our words are too negative. I don't know. Alex Collier talks about that. They like jazz. And uh, she talks about some piano piece was heard by a group of extraterrestrials and they'd never heard our music before and they were like freaking out and crying and everything it was like really 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 got them but i understand what i'm playing and that motion comes over me and it's uh powerful like when my wife walks up behind me and kind of as i'm playing the piano and Puts her hands on me and kind of rubs my neck. It goes to another level. I mean, it is like, wow. It's like being in front of an audience. Uh, you can uh, record all you want. Like I think Kiss even talked about this. Going to the studio and just couldn't get it. And then they started recording their live performances. And it just... And there's a group of people sitting out. Even at one person, whatever. And you know they're listening. You take it to the <clears throat> highest level you can do. And it's hard to do in the studio. So anyway, E.T. ET is here and they had busting at the gut to show up, but they're being held back by the stupid Prime Directive. <clears throat> We don't want the prime directive. We didn't vote for it. We don't want it. We didn't vote for the negative ETs. We don't want them. <clears throat> that was a weird sound. <sighs> so, come on. They've got the technology. They got the med beds. They say they're already producing them on the moon and on the Mars. Lots of them, med beds, med beds, but they, they, they're, they're waiting. They can't bring them yet. Some of our troops have been able to use them. Well, they've been using them for years, but locally with the cleaning out of the underground stuff that's been going on for the last four, five, six years, the military's been, uh, had to witness really, really, really horrible things. Plus get injured. They've been put in med beds and then the, Little ones that were recovered, who have been just, I can't even imagine, they have been put in the med beds. They're getting the first use of the med beds, and I get it. I get it. But some of us here, not me, but some of us, like my wife, I mean, we're just hanging by a thread, you know? need that technology because yes we can heal ourselves but I think we've been beat down so much by the false people and false beings that's taught us and trained our minds and brainwashed us it's near impossible to heal yourself or anyone else it happens it does happen it does happen it's a guy uh, What's his name? His whole thing is David. He uh, raises people from the dead. That's his thing. He said he gets. He's got about a ten percent track record, which that's pretty frick, freaking good. That means one out of ten people he tries to raise from the dead actually does get up. David. David Gray. David. Just punch in healing. Bring him 
people alive from the dead and punching David. You'll probably, I think it's David. Maybe I'm wrong on that too. Anyway, he was a rough, I think an oil wildcat guy, just, I mean, rough. And of course, God would pick someone you would never uh, pick yourself. That's what God does. And then he, uh, he, that's all he does is go out and open churches because that's all they know. And uh, try to teach people to raise people from the dead and whatever, you know, else he can teach them and get born again. That's a big deal. Uh, but churches don't have it. Every time I see a church, it's just like, wow, you poor people. Poor people. Okay. So, uh, let me get this sweater off without dropping anything. Okay. So, anyway, I thought, I think yesterday, I thought it was Tuesday. And I even put it in my video. It was Thursday and today's Friday. That's how fast time is going. It's just, I keep talking about that. Time is just blazing by. If you don't notice how fast time is going, maybe you're not in the same timeline as me. There are, I think there are shared timelines going on. Like, people are just, that we call it sleep. They just... Uh, they they're not go they're not gonna wake up, <laughs> as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe they're on a different timeline, and this all of a sudden one day I'll be in a different world, and spacecraft will be landing, and those other people who are asleep will just be on their world, going about business business as usual. I I can't even imagine. Like I watch these guys on these car shows and. They just think, you know, everything's just normal. They're just trucking along, buying their cars. Boop, 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 boop. And the sports, Jesus, are you kidding me? People in the sports, just, oh my God. Sometimes truthers will even come on there. Mark Z does this. He's in, into the dinar and stuff like that. Mark Z, if you got dinar, I think you could get information from his site. But uh, <clears throat> there's an ET, see it? Da, 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 above the treetops. <gasps> right there. Um, <clears throat> he'll start talking about, go, go, it's Bruins. And it's like, oh, bleh, bleh. First of all, Michael Jaco says all sports, the big sports, they're all rigged 100%. He can tell you who's going to win <clears throat> just by uh, looking up who will, who would win would promote whatever it's going to promote. Plus, the bad guys, I'm sure, have their bets riding on whoever they know is going to win, you know. <clears throat> but <clears throat> Jaco calls the winner of the Super Bowl every year. <clears throat> and it's, he bases it on... Uh, what's happening in the news because that dictates who they let win. And I don't think all the players are in on it, but <clears throat> certain ones enough to sway the game. Uh, I can certainly see it, but I mean, they're all 100% rigged. Complete waste of time to watch. <clears throat> Unless you uh, get like Jayco and know who's gonna win and bet piles of money on it. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, uh, so UT's here, it's all happening, you're here on earth at the most miraculous time it's ever happened on earth, ever, what's happening right now has never ever happened before, we are rising up in vibration from third dimensional to fourth and fifth, uh, I don't think we're going to get to fifth because I think fifth is, uh, my personal feeling of fifth is like in the millennium where we 
we are in our spiritual bodies and we can travel at the speed of thought. We are basically angels <coughs> like that <coughs> who can, you know, we can manifest as solid people or be spirit or whatever we want to be. But I'm, I don't believe that's, I don't believe that's where we're at right now. I believe we're upper fourth dimension where we just take over the planet and there's nothing but love and good and all the darkness and evil is gone. We're all uh, made young again if we want to be. We all are completely healthy from technology and from learning what we need to learn. And money is no longer even, it's like Star Trek. It's Star Trek. It's money, we don't need money anymore. We don't need money. Uh, technology and robots and stuff can do all the work nobody else wants to do. But, so, uh, keep breathing, all I can say. Right, Oliver? Right? Keep breathing. That'd be good. That'd be good. Would that be good? There you go. Boop. Oh, no, sorry. Back throw. Back up. Back up. It's, it's underneath you. Look up. No, it's over here. Here, right here. There you go. Okay. Have a good one.